Making the, the XOR gate from NAND and OR gates using transistors. Logic gates of particular interest that we're going to be studying here. Taking an input A and B and generating uh, an output Z with an AND gate, you get this truth table. Similarly, for a NAND gate, which is a NOT AND, also for the OR gate, and finally the one we're going to be creating, the XOR or exclusive OR gate. If you arrange an OR, a NAND, and an AND gate as follows, you get an XOR gate. So why do we care about these particular gates? Well, from these gates you get to an ALU. You create an arithmetic logic unit. The steps are the following. You take an XOR gate, an AND gate, and an OR gate, and you create this device called an adder. If you put four of those adders combined, then you get this device called a 4-bit adder. And if you then take that 4-bit adder, combine it with XOR, NOT, and AND gates, you get the arithmetic logic unit, or ALU. So next steps. First of all, let me just mention that there are additional resources listed in the description section that you may find useful. But for now, let's build some circuits. These are the shopping lists for the two circuits that we're going to build. The one on the left is actually for the NAND and the OR gates that we're going to put together. And then we're going to combine them into the final shopping list on the right with the circuit that's going to combine the NAND and the OR gate and it's going to create a an XOR gate. Now let's go ahead and design our circuit using the FritzSync program. Click on File New and start a new sketch. And what we're going to do is we'll go to the schematic view right here and make it a little bit larger. And now what we're going to do is to start adding our components. Our resistor, we're going to go ahead and rotate it by 90 degrees. And we're going to be starting to add our LED right below. And then below that, we're going to add a couple of transistors. This is going to be an AND gate that we're building right here. And similarly, what we're going to do is we're going to add an OR gate over here by putting two transistors in parallel with, again, an LED on top and a resistor here that we're going to rotate 90 degrees on the top there. There we go. So now let's go ahead and do some wiring between these two fellows there. And then we're going to go ahead and not forget about the battery. So we'll go ahead and get the battery right here. So we'll put a battery here. We'll rotate it 90 degrees. We'll go ahead and copy it and paste it. Well, okay, I'm not copying and paste. We'll go ahead and do it again and rotate it 90 degrees. And there we go. So now what we do is we join this fellow to here and we do this and then we join this fellow up here to here and we do it like that. So now we similarly do from here to here to energize our circuit and from here to here to close our loop. There we go. So now let's make sure that we, oh, we forgot almost one thing, to go ahead and put in the resistors right here. Let's see if we can move that fellow there to give us more room. Another resistor back here. There. There. And now the 1K resistor here and another 1K resistor here. Now what we can do is just pretty it up a little bit by making sure that our components are the right values. So we'll put that one at 1K, that resistor at 1K also. So the input resistors to our base of our transistors are all going to be 1K. And we change that in the AND and also in the OR diagram. And this resistor right up here is going to be 100 ohms. Now, in my circuit, I didn't have a 100 ohm resistor. 
So I ended up doing two 220s in parallel. But this is the idea here. Oh, and then the LED. We're going to use a green one, which takes a little bit less voltage to activate. So I think it's 560. But either way, I mean, at that point, it's an LED. Uh, you should be able to use any LED. The one I tried was the green one. So we'll just do it here. So at this point, then, we notice that we have an input here and an input here. This is A and B, and whether this light turns on or off is going to be our Z or our uh, output. Similarly for the AND gate, this is going to be the A entry and the B entry. And then here it's going to be the uh, whether that, that comes out or not. So actually we could actually put something like this here and like this here to, to pre it up even a little bit more. And similar to here, although I'm running out of space. But you get the idea. So right, this is the building of the circuit of an AND gate and an OR gate. So in Fritzing we have our AND gate and our OR gate. And the next step is going to be to combine them. So we're going to follow this type of schematic to combine them. So let me explain. That right there is our AND gate. And now we've gone ahead and added this little component here a fifth transistor that's going to be a NOT and essentially it's going to be an inverter and then over here we have our OR gate. Uh, the other thing we've done here is I've gone ahead and removed the LED from here since I shorted this out to this uh, inverter. Uh, something else you'll notice is we've gone ahead and wired this switch over to this uh, connector, this input right here, so that we can drive both the AND and the OR at the same time. And then similarly over here, this input is equivalent to this input right here, and they're both driven by this switch. So by pushing one switch or another, we should be able to activate or not activate the green light. And that's what we're going to go for. Now, this is what we expect our circuit to look like in the breadboard view. Again, this is our NAND gate, and this is our ORD gate, and these are the joining connections. These two circuits are gates. This is an AND gate and this is an OR gate. Let's start with the OR gate. The truth table says that zero and zero result in zero. One and zero result in one. Zero and one result in one. And one and one result in one. Similarly for the AND gate, zero and zero result in zero. 1 and 0 result in 0. 0 and 1 result in 0. And 1 and 1 result in 1. Now let's combine them and make an XOR gate. So after a little bit of construction, we've gone ahead and combined our AND gate and our OR gate. Notice also that we added an inverting component here in the middle with this transistor. So now if we have the inputs A and B at zero, we have a zero. If we have one and zero, we have a one. If we have zero and one, we have a one. And if we have zero, one and one, we end up with a zero. So that's the truth table for an XOR gate. So in summary, we've started from transistors and essentially made a NAND gate here on the left and an OR gate here on the right. We've combined them into a, an AND gate such that from those two components, we've actually built an XOR gate.